The earnings tax is paid by everyone who works in Kansas City, Missouri. It's fair and reasonable that those who work here and live here should help chip in to pay for those services for which everybody benefits. 50% of the people who pay it are not from Kansas City, Missouri. About a third of them are from the Missouri suburbs, about a fifth from Kansas. The e-tax generates more than $230 million a year. That is 40% of the city's main operating budget, the general fund. The mayor and others say that is how the city pays for many services, especially police and fire. And without it, boosters say the city would have to lay off about 80 police a year every year for the next 10 years and about 50 firefighters a year during the same time. That's an entire battalion. And a battalion is a geographical area, basically from 31st Street to about 87th Street, state line to Troost. I don't think this mayor, this city council, uh, would vote to uh, cut public safety spending. I, I think if you put the question to them, uh, clearly they would say no. TUI and the conservative Show Me Institute say that voters should vote to end that e-tax, and then, by law, it could be phased out over 10 years, enough time for the city to develop alternatives. The vote on whether or not to renew the earnings tax in Kansas City, Missouri, is set for April the 5th. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News.